Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing my makeup collection. So I try to do an updated version of this video every single year. I'll be showing you guys my storage, also a little bit of like my vanity where I get ready right here and then my makeup storage over there. I have moved a few things around a little bit, so I'll share that in today's video, walk you guys through some of the products that I have. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kelly. I upload four videos a week all about cruelty-free beauty. So if you're into this type of content, be sure to subscribe. And let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay, so this is kind of my vanity setup with my makeup. I'm gonna leave every single product here linked down below if you're curious about anything, but I have been getting ready right here. I've got a little stool and then a mirror there, and I keep all of my makeup in these drawers. Plus, I actually moved my palettes to a different drawer. I'm no longer keeping them in these drawers, but most of my products are in here. So these are kind of a dupe for the Ikea Alex drawers. They're a little bit different. They're from Michaels and I'll leave them linked down below. It's kind of nice too because with Michaels you can always use a 50% off coupon. So you can usually get them at a pretty great deal. And in this top drawer, that's where I keep my everyday makeup basket. So the products that I'm using at the moment, I keep up here in this top drawer. I actually want to reorganize this a bit because it's kind of messy right now. I need some dividers, but that's where I keep my makeup that I'm using currently. Now, this top drawer is where I keep most of my base products and I actually reorganized it a little bit and now I have my powders up here. And these little baskets I actually got at the Dollar Tree. They're in the kitchen section and I like that they kind of keep my products separated. I would say these larger baskets are really only helpful for large products. Like they don't really hold lipsticks or anything that well, but for foundations they work out nicely. So I keep my foundation stored here. If you guys watch my shop, my stash, you can see things have been moved around a tiny bit. But I have a handful of liquid foundations and then I keep like tinted moisturizers and skin tints down here. So I've got ColourPop Pretty Fresh, the lip bar, just a tint. My favorite foundation is Urban Decay All Nighter. I've got my other favorite, Oma Beauty Say What the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundation, and then I have two from Koki. This is the Skin Perfect and the Full Cover Foundation. And then I have these two powder foundations. This is the Bare Minerals Matte and then the Plain Jane Powder Foundation. They're both extremely similar. And then in this top basket, I have all my primers, which is not that many. Keep in mind, any of the products that were in this top drawer, you won't see out here. But for primers, I have Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir. My newest primer is this one from Hard Candy. It's the Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. This one is really good. I have e.l.f. Poreless Putty, which is all right. Another favorite is the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. This is the Becca First Light Primer, and then this is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. And then I've moved all of my face powders up to this drawer. So I've got quite a few at this point. I did not have that many face powders for a while and I feel like I've collected a few recently, but this is the Too Faced Born This Way face powder. I have Urban Decay All Nighter. This is a good one to like lock products in. And then my favorite powder, I have two of these. These are from Bite Beauty. This is called the Change Maker Powder. I have shades one and two, but I would say two is probably a better match for me. Elf Halo Glow is like one of the best drugstore powders out there in my opinion and it's pretty much a dupe for this one which is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil which I adore. My newest, well not one of my newest but one of my favorites is the Kosas Cloud Powder. I have mine in the shade Breezy. This is so good. Another newer one to me is the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. This is like a pressed version of the Mineral Veil. Honestly, I don't love this one. If you saw my recent review, you saw it's not really my favorite. And then this was limited edition, but it's really good. This is High Beauty from Essence. It's It looks green, but it applies translucent. And then up here, I have some setting sprays. The bottom ones are all Urban Decay All Nighter, just different sizes. And then this is the Pixie Glow Mist. I still love this one. And this one is like basically empty, but I use it to wet my uh, soap when I do soap brows. So this is just the Refresh Hydrating Setting Spray from Koki. So that is the top drawer. This is my base. I actually think that eventually I might move my concealers up to here, especially if I, I don't know, maybe if I work through some of these or kind of move things around a bit. 
but I do like having the powders up here. I want to get some drawer dividers that I can maybe put in so they don't roll around as much, but I do like how this top drawer is set up. And this drawer has all of my cheek products. So this, if you watch my Shaw My Stash, you were probably impressed that it's looking quite a bit better. It was completely overflowing for months there and I've gotten it to a place where I like it. So on this side of the drawer, I have all cream products and then my concealers up here. And what I used for this is actually an old jewelry box, not like, like a box that the jewelry came in. So any sort of small box is perfect for that. And then these again are the same ones from the Dollar Tree. I think maybe next time I get like a package or something, if there are any small boxes, I just need to save them because that type of thing is great for drawer dividers. So down here at the bottom, I have two of these from Charlotte Tilbury. These are two of their beauty wands. I do also in that top drawer have one of the highlighting wands, but this is the blush wand in pink gasm. And then this is the contour wand in fair medium. Now you can't see these as well up here, but any like face palettes, actually bronzer palettes, I put up here. So I've got the Trip for Two Duo from Wander Beauty that I actually have pan on. This is such a good little duo. Plus I have this bronzer that's not a palette obviously, but it is just way too bulky to fit elsewhere in the drawer. So I just keep it there. This is from LYS. Their bronzer is so good. This is from Fiona Styles. This is a trio. They don't make this anymore, which is such a bummer because it was so good. I wish this brand was still at Ulta, but this is called the Sheer Sculpting Medium to Dark Palette. And then this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Hollywood, wait, what's it called? No, the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. This is the mini. It was limited edition around the holidays, but I hope they bring the mini back because I really like this, but I feel like the mini itself is not a bad size, especially for the price. So that is what I keep up there. Over here with the cream products, these two, this is basically a dupe for this one. So this is from Pixie. This is one of their multi balms. I have the shade Baby Petal. This is discontinued, but sometimes you can still find it. And if you wanted to try this one from Milk, I would pick up this one, but the shade I have in the Milk Stick is called Work. I do like both of these, but I don't always love crayons. Other two that I have in here, Flower Beauty Blush Balm in Bubbly and Glossier Cloud Paint in Beam. Okay, Beam I've had for so long, like I feel like I should declutter this soon, but I still really like it, so I'm gonna keep it. In here I have cream bronzers and highlights. This is the new Persona cream bronzer. I don't really love this one, but a lot of other people do. And I have one of the Too Faced concealers in a contour shade for me. This is the shade Honey, which on myself works as a cream contour. This is one of the Dewy Sticks from Ciate London. It's basically just like a highlighter balm. It's really pretty and natural. I have mine in the shade Glow. Up here I have concealers. This is Koki Be Bright. This is one of my absolute favorites. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. A color corrector from Essence in the High Beauty line. The e.l.f. Hydrating Camo. I have two shades of the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening. And I also have a CoverGirl True Blend. And then this, I would like to put here, but it doesn't really fit that well, but this is a cream bronzer for me. This is the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright in the shade Caramel. And then this is the color corrector from Flower Beauty. It's really good. Okay, so I've reorganized these a bit. So in this basket, I have highlights and bronzers. So for highlights, this is from Nabla. This is the shade Privilege, one of my favorite highlights ever. This is from Pixie. I use, you can see I have Hip Pan on this shade. And then I have two highlights from Persona Cosmetics. Another one with Pan. This is the shade Zuma. And then I also have Laguna, which is a little bit lighter. One of my favorite drugstore ones. This is the NYX High Glass. It's like a cream to powder. And then Becca Champagne Pop. This is actually the only Becca one I have anymore. I had more, but I have decluttered all of them. And then I have one from Bare Minerals. This is super underrated. This is the shade Joy. So beautiful. Like it looks like it'd be too dark for me, but the color is a little bit different than it is in the pan. And then another one with pan in it, the Mary Luminizer. I mean, look how giant that pan is. I love this one. And then for bronzer, not too many, but I did have a couple that are in like my everyday makeup basket. 
but I have the Bare Minerals Warmth Bronzer, so underrated. I have another one from Nabla. This is the shade Ambra. It's really pretty and natural. I have the Balm Take Home the Bronze, which I heard recently might be being discontinued. And then another one with Huge Pan. This is the Milani Bronzer. It is their Silky Matte, and I have 01. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, back here, these three right here. Okay, this, these are all blushes, except for these three I have my collab from Samantha March and Ofra. So I keep those right here. So it's, she has a blush, bronzer, and highlight. And then on the other side of the basket, these are all my blushes. So I have two from Persona. They make three shades now, but I have the first two, which were Georgia and Caramel. Another one with Pan. This is Lorac Blush and Tinge. And another one with Pan. Okay, I need to stop saying that. This is the Too Faced I Will Always Love You. Oops. So they reformulated these and like relaunched them, but this was from the original launch, so this is really old. And then, you know I love it, the Bare Minerals Blonzer, which unfortunately is limited edition, but I have mine in Kiss of Pink. Another one from Bare Minerals, I have three blushes from them. This is one of their Bounce and Blur blushes. I have Mauve Sunrise, it's so beautiful, one of my absolute favorites. And then I have one of their loose blushes. I have the shade Glee. I do really like this formula, it's really natural. And then I have a blush from Milani. This is their Rose Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. This is a mini. I think they only sell the minis on their website, not in stores anywhere. But I also have one of these really old blushes. This is the CoverGirl Cheekers Blush, and I have mine in the shade Pink Candy. So that was the entire cheek drawer, and now my next drawer has lips and some eye products. All right, time for the lip drawer. So in this drawer, I keep all my lip products and then some eye products, mostly shimmers and loose products and like liquid glitters. So along the bottom, I have all my Persona Cosmetics lip products. They have liquid lipsticks and uh, lip glosses. Oh, they also do have tinted lip balms. I love those too. But I have, I think, almost every single shade that they make. I love their formula. They have one of my favorite lipstick formulas and one of my favorite lip gloss formulas. So I like keeping all of those right here. I also love my Ofra liquid lipsticks. I have quite a few in the new packaging. And then I have one little lonely guy in the old packaging. And then in this corner, I have some lip glosses from Urban Decay. These are the Hi-Fi Shine lip glosses. That used to be my favorite formula, but um, it's kind of an older formula at this point, and I feel like I have some that I like more, but it is still very good. I do also have three of the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks, but they actually just reformulated and relaunched these, so I'm not sure how the new formula is, but the original ones were my absolute favorite. I have quite a few lip products from Bite. They're one of my favorite brands for lip products, these um, are the Power Matte Lip Crayons. They're really good. You guys know I wear Sugar Cane like almost every single day. I wear this one so often. These are kind of like a matte formula, but they're like a comfortable matte. These ones, these are lip stains. So these are the Outburst lip stains. They come in three shades total. I have two of the three. And I do like these, but like they're definitely stains. So like they will stay on your lips for days. And then this shade I made in their lip lab like years and years and years ago. So this was my custom lipstick shade. It's super pink. It's not really my style anymore, but I think I made this in like 2014. So I probably shouldn't wear it anymore, but I don't want to get rid of it because it is a custom shade. Oh, these from Becca. Becca's going out of business, but these are really good. So if you can get these on sale, the Love lipsticks are amazing. This shade is called Dune. I adore it. I also have a few from the Lip Bar. This is their lip gloss formula right here. I actually have one of each. Lip gloss, liquid lipstick, and then regular lipstick. This is Baby Bellini. It's one of my favorite nudes in my entire collection. And then this is called Control Freak. That's the gloss. And then this is a liquid lipstick that is so pretty. It's called Hot Mess. Ooh, these from e.l.f. They're so good. These are $3.00. These are the Seriously Satin Lipsticks. I have the shades Cream, Nectar, and then I also have Persimmon, but that's in my everyday makeup basket, but that one is a bright orange. Ooh, oldie but a goodie, NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I still think these are amazing. Also have some tinted lip balms from Becca, from e.l.f., I have them from Persona also. This is a lip gloss from Milani in Soft Rose. This is a lipstick from Milani in I Am Bold. 
And then over here, like I said, I just have a lot of eye products. So we've got these glitters from Becca that are not very good, to be honest. These, some of my absolute favorites, these are from Urban Decay. These are the Moon Dust Shadows. I have Lithium and Space Cowboy. Also, can you see my Christmas pajamas as I'm sitting here? I also have two of these. I don't know where the other one is, but I have two of these from Makeup Geek, and I don't think I've ever used these. These, I don't even think they make anymore, but I bought these, I think, on like Black Friday this year. It's like a loose glitter. I have Kaleidoscope, and I have one more, but I don't think I've, I've like used it once, maybe. This is so good. This is the NYX Shadow in Mermaid. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's like this beautiful dual chrome. But those are all of my lip products. And then this bottom jar, I mostly just keep like files. So I don't really have makeup products in here. These first four are all of my makeup products. But the bottom drawer used to keep my palettes, but I have moved those to a different drawer, which I'm about to show you. And now here's where I keep my palettes. So I actually have these drawers that I keep under my bed. I'll leave that link down below. And I started putting all of my palettes in here. It's just a little bit easier than having them in the other drawers. These are a little bit deeper, so I feel like I they fit a little bit better in here. I can fit more of them in here. And I don't really go into this drawer every single day because I rotate my palettes with my shop, my stash. So they're just kind of stored here and then I grab out of my everyday makeup drawer. So this is where I'm keeping them. These little drawers, you can't really see them because I put them under my bed and I've got like a bed skirt so it's kind of hidden. But I will leave this drawer linked down below. And since I recently did an eyeshadow palette collection, I'm gonna leave that link down below if you wanna see what eyeshadow palettes I have. And I'll also leave my palette declutter down there as well. So that is my full collection plus storage. It's been really handy for me since I moved. So I hope this video was helpful or enjoyable. And thank you guys so much for watching.